Hey everybody, Sniper Lazeman here. Welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. So, I decided to uh, continue on forward uh, a little bit more here from last time. After uh, a couple weird, really weird moments. I'm going to light this place up. Alright, come over here. I got an explosive surprise for you. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yes, yeah, so the darkness again once again will will always be a constant problem throughout this entire game. Good thing is though is that when you're using the uh, when you're using the fireworks, it it'll actually uh, won't you won't take any damage when you're uh, when you're using it. So that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty great. Ah! Get off me. Okay. I... Darkness is coming. I know it is. There, there it is. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, stop moving around. You stop moving around, too. There. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, great. Oh! Actually, yeah, let me go teeth. Let me go teeth. Her. Got enough ammo for it, so. You will actually get a lot more ammo for, uh, for the teeth, or simply because of it being a machine gun, but I think that's per pretty much standard. Machine gun, machine guns and, uh, Usually, I always have the most ammo. Usually. Alright, so. Got another one of the cores. Um, which can only mean. Oh. There we go. All right, we're into a an interesting part here. Now, tell me if this does not remind you of Resident Evil Four. What the shit is that? Let's take a closer look. Well, hi ho! Name's Christopher. Now, don't y'all be afraid. I ain't gonna bite. Trust me. You see, I'm what you call a mixture of beast and human. Oh, best of both worlds, my pappy said. Hey, but what are you doing around these parts? Ain't you a mortal? Why should I tell you? All I see is demon. Well, shucks. You gotta look underneath the leathery exterior. Deep down, I am a sensitive and understanding listener. Some asswipe named Fleming stole my girl and took her to his castle. I am here to take her back. Meaning you are on a quest to kick the Prince of Evil's ass? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I want in on some of this action. How can I help, huh? How can I? Well, I hope that you're offering more than just enthusiasm. I tell you what, I get pretty hungry, and I just love her of them white gems. <laughs> you get enough of those and we can trade with the right incentive. I might even be able to introduce you to some real product. Know what I mean? <laughs> Magnifico. Okay, then chuck them sparklies right down the hatch. <laughs> Go on, feed me! Ah! Okay, okay, a little bit away from the camera, please. Thank you. Alright, so this is our pal Christopher. Uh, he is basically going to be the wandering stranger in uh, Resident Evil 4 who... Always up happens to get ahead of you somehow, and it's the same with Christopher. So with him, we can buy ammo, we can buy drinks. Actually, now we can actually buy tequila too. Uh, either a pack of either one or a pack of three, and we can buy, of course, red gems. So this is what you're gonna be spending a lot of your a lot of the white gems on. Good enough, we can buy two and almost three. 
<laughs> and yes, he almost swallows your hand every time. I, I, I doubt anything would happen. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 wasn't, I was worried if it was going to be exactly like Resident Evil 4 that you can actually kill him. And he'll be gone for the rest of the game. Uh, okay, so we got two. I'm thinking putting that to both the health. Kind of wish a little way that, that I, I kind of wish uh, sometimes that you can uh, either take away or kind of like you know mix them back, like like uh, respect your uh, your whole uh, upgrades maybe. Just in case if you made a mistake and it's like, oh no, I didn't want this. I wanted to upgrade, you know, this ability this? or something. Sushi with a dick. These guys may look <laughs> ugly, but they're actually quite useful. Are they friendly? Yes, I kept one as a pet. Hit them with light, and they'll. Keep right, so these ones uh, will guide us through through the uh, dark parts, and can keep batching the enemies away. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, do I have? Oh, I have 72. I want to say, if so, I could just run back Christopher and uh, grab another red gem. These guys will appear every now and then through uh, dark areas that where you literally cannot see anything without them. A cemetery. Really? I had no idea. No, there is no need to get snippy. It's just this wasn't here before. Since when do demons get buried? Since I came to town. Alright, so this, uh, is there a red gem anywhere? Nope. Whoa, who did this? Mr. X! Only a demon hunter could kill this many and not be lying dead next to them. Paula and I promised we would be buried together. Oh, wasn't that sweet, I guess. <laughs> in fact, to the tombstone adds in died wearing a purple jacket. Okay, so when it comes to this thing, uh, just as usual, you gotta stay in the darkness and shoot these. Step out for a bit. Let your uh, let your shields replenish, and then go right back at it. And the teether is uh, personally the uh, best thing to use. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm back out. Okay. Let's go in from. Actually, I can go in from this angle over here. All right. I wouldn't even bother. That's why I'm not bothering with the enemies. I think they actually respawn too. Oh, give me those. Give me those white gems. And that brain. I'll take that too. Actually, I'm going to use, use this. So, yeah. not too, Those ones aren't, aren't, aren't really too bad. They're actually fairly easy. Oh, as you just saw. Well, that's certainly one big tower. I don't think Fleming may be overcompensating for something else. See, I can make my own my own penis jokes here. I don't have to let the game do it for for, for me. All right, and norm normally when uh, actually I'm pretty sure every time every time when there's a big door and you have to mash to open it up, that signals for the end of uh, of an act. Yep. Two dash three. Off to the giant tower. All right. Ooh, this part's kind of cool, actually.
All those white spots, those are white gems. Darkness. Where is a gold when you need one? Okay, okay. Crazy idea, G. What if we use that chandelier? All right, so here's an interesting control. So interesting control scheme. Uh, right analog stick moves it up and down, and left stick moves it all the way around. What we have to do is smash into these orbs to uh, release the dark, move the darkness upward. And once it does that, it reveals more uh, white gems we can get. And also, there's gonna be more. Uh, enemies along the way. We definitely want to make sure I get all, get all these two. Oh, oh, can, can we get that without having to? Uh, all right, that works. There, are, there are sometimes too where you can just like just move forward and like barely get it like that. Alright, I think that looks like that's... Oh. Still a few more here, but I'll, I'll, I'll get the other ones while I'm climbing back up. Oh, yep, here's some enemies right here. Get him. Yeah. They drop a few. Oh, they do they do drop them, but it's more lower to I guess where they died. Aw. Uh, Aw, uh, can I not get them at all? Really? Well, I feel a little bit cheated on. Uh okay, I can't get that yet. Nope. Okay, move back. Then move this way. Oh, I'm still missing a few, actually. Ah. Okay. Try this again. Well, that definitely sucks. I thought I'd be able to kill the enemies and get the gems that they drop. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of this tower. And just like that, Act 2 3 is done. And I think there's. Yeah, 2 4. Riders of the Lost Heart. I believe this one is only I believe this one is purely just a uh, just a boss fight. I wonder if we can get this in around this uh, get this fight in two. No, no, there is there is a little bit of a level in it too. Well that, that's fine. If I'm lucky I'll be able to stop. Oh hey Christopher. If I'm lucky I'll be able to stop. Uh Right before, right before the boss. I think one of these has a red gem in it. Sit over. What's. No, nothing there. Is there one behind you? No, it must be. That must be a different area. How'd you two get here so fast? Y'all rode the chandelier, didn't you? <laughs> well, I was about to ask you the same same question. <laughs> How did you get in front of us? All right, give me my red gems. Thank you. Okay, so three upgrades. Let's go after. Um. Health. 
And... Let's give my boner uh, a little bit more damage. That seems good for now. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, this way. Actually, I think, yeah, actually, this is the boss fight right now. Right when I go through there. So, I think that actually seems a good time to stop. Gone through, like, what, two? About, like, well, one and a half uh, acts in this episode, so... God, I got a little bit of the hiccups right now. Uh, so, uh, that would be it for uh, today. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, next episode, we will uh, fight off the uh, boss there. So, for Garcia Hotspur, we will see you all next time.